Yep. All right. So now that we have our CAD drawing done, we're going to open up sheet cam. It's right here in the center. Uh, and we already have it open this time, so we're going to go up here and click it. From here, we're going to go to File, New Part. We're going to pick the drawing that we just did, which is a five inch square with a three inch circle. Double click it, hit OK, and then there's our part. <clears throat> so from here, we're going to go down to this little icon over here that says Create a New Jet Cutting Operation. Click that. We're going to pick an outside offset. We're going to pick the layer that it's in, which is white. Then we're going to select our tool. We're cutting 10 gauge uh, steel, so we would select our 45 amp 10 gauge tool. Uh, from there, we would hit our this little three dotted box here. We want to double check our, our parameters for our tool. So we would look at all the parameters here and make sure that they all match here. Once, once we know they do, uh, then we'll hit okay. Um, from here, <clears throat> we would come down, we're gonna do a quarter inch lead in, and then we're gonna hit okay. So what you see here, the torch will go from zero, zero, and do the lead in on the circle, and then it'll do the lead in on the square. So if we wanted to do two of these, we would come up to the top to this little uh, cross here, click the cross, which is a nesting tool, come down to the part and right click, and we could do a duplicate. And then now we can do two of these instead of just one. Uh, looking at the material, we we'll probably want to stack them on top of each other this time. And also with this nesting tool, you can grab any part and move it anywhere you want to on the sheet. We're gonna leave it right there. So from here, we're gonna go to File, Save Job As, and, we're, and it's five inch square with three inch circle. We're gonna do times two because there's two of those in that job. You hit enter. Uh, from there, we're gonna go find the play button up here, which is run the post processor. We're gonna make the G code, and then we're gonna hit save. And we have these in your, in your file folder called plasma cut files. That's where everything's saved. Once this, this process is, it'll say post processing complete. If there's errors, it'll show it in the screen. Hit okay, cut. Okay, play. All right, so now that we have our sheet cam done, we have our G-code made, uh, we would open up Plasma with Limits, which is this one here. I happen to already have it open again. So from here, we would click this big box up here that says Open. Go find the G-code that we just made, which is five inch square with three inch circle dot, uh, times two dot NGC. We would open it up, <clears throat> and there on the screen, it shows how much material that it's gonna need. So on the table, we would bring the torch over to where we wanna, to where we wanna cut. From there, we, that's where we want to cut at, so we'll 0x, we will 0y, and then we'll home the z. Once it homes the z, if this down here didn't go to 0, just click 0. Now all the axes are, are, are where they need to be. So first thing we do, we hit run, and as we hit run, we have to go double check that our preset voltage is right. If we don't know what it is, go back to the book and look. If we know it's right, then we can hit resume, and then it'll cut. Yeah. 